of Limitless Farm. This week we're going to be talking about cars and the cars is basically a film about a young ambitious racer who is in the race to, to become the world champion in the Piston Cup. In this story, he he is a little bit selfish. He fires his, his pit crew because they don't do what he is saying. He believes that he can do better than anybody else and nobody can do better than him. And he gets stuck in a place called Radiator Springs. And he, on his quest to get onto the highway, he destroys this quaint little town. He rips up the road in two and gets arrested and sentenced to fix the road. And with his selfish ambition, he starts questioning going, nope, 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 just let me go. I can't do this. What about my paint job? What about my stickers? What, what about my dignity? Like I'm famous, I'm a famous race car. Uh, I, I'm an aerodynamic machine built for speed and position, but I can't do this. But he is forced to in the end. And I believe that this is the same for us though. If there's something that we kind of really don't want to do, we make up all these excuses to try and get out of it. He's a little bit too selfish, but and he's a little bit too prideful. I'm famous, I'm famous. You can't do this to me. But he needs to humble himself. And we'll talk about how he humbles himself. So he fixes the road to a, as a bad job, but runs and drives off and runs out of petrol. Then he gets towed back and then he's told to redig up the road and then redo it. And in this time, he is, is forced to hang out with the local cars. And what that's done is he's slowly helped McQueen realize the importance of hanging out with people, hanging out with friends, rather than just using them as a means to an end. And so he did the rode really really well nice and smooth everyone was excited and once he finished mac and a tv crew found him and they took him to california to participate in this race and in amongst all this chaos he was being forced into his truck to go he forgot one of the most important things any racer needs and that was a pit crew he became so independent so prideful and so on his own that he forgot to ask his friends for help. When he was driving around the racetrack, he was th he was obviously thinking about it. And then thinking about how he missed Sally, the Porsche, and, and all the other cars, because he, uh, he actually changed his heart, changed his perspective. He turned it upside. He was going around the racetrack, and, and to his surprise, he saw Doc and the race crew cheering him on all the way to win the race. And they sacrificed for him. And so he's so joyful, he's put his foot to the to, to the metal and he's speeding around the racetrack and he was so close to winning and Hing flipped over and was destroyed and couldn't finish the race by himself. And so what McQueen did, he sacrificed his most wanted desire of becoming the champion racer and the winner of the Piston Cup to reverse back and push King across the finishing line because he knew King wanted to finish really, really well. And so what the Bible says about this is that there is no greater love than this to lay down their life for a friend. It basically means laying aside your own needs and desires to help another person. Just like this, it takes getting a little lost to truly find ourselves. And what we find is that our, our self is the most valuable when it is linked to others and to God. Guys, we are made for relationship. We are made to work together with other humans and our friends and our family. Uh, God created us never to be alone. Relationship is important. The Bible says this, it says in Philippians, do nothing from selfish ambition or con uh, conceit, but in humility, regard others as better than yourself. Let each of you look up to your own interests, but to the intre interests of others. Friends, there is more ways to win in life than just being constantly first 
in a race, a race of life. There is love, the love, the kind of love that causes someone to lay down their life for someone else, just as Queen did for the King and just as Jesus did for us. And just as so we are called to do for others.